Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to be doing a little review on a sword that I got. It would be this one right here. Now this is considered a Masonic sword, or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. Reason being, it's got the Freemason symbol on the handle. Now, I honestly have no idea if there's a brand to this or not. It's just something I picked up at a local market because I thought it was cool. Let me do a little close up for you on the cover of the sword here. It's got some pretty intricate details. If I go over here, there's the Freemason symbol, and on the reverse, there's a cross. Now, what I like about this thing is it's got a nice sound when you open it. I don't know if you could actually hear that, but it sounds like it should. The blade itself is actually unsharpened. And that's because this is more of a decorative piece than an actual sword. It was only about 20 bucks, but uh, I think it's kind of neat. So, uh, as you can see, I can rub my hands up and down this really hard. It's not going to hurt me. It's unsharpened. It's dull. The only part that's actually dangerous is the tip here, because this could actually hurt someone. That part is sharp. but. Uh, Everything else isn't. It's primarily made of stainless steel. And uh, you gotta put it in the correct way, otherwise there will... I'll, sh I'll show you the little gripe I have with this. If you look closely, everything is flush when it's put in like that. Want the camera focus? There we go. It's flush. Once I pull it out, flip over the cover, you can see right here on this side, that it's not actually flush. So you have to put it in the correct way. I'm going to try making that noise for you closer to the camera. Maybe you guys can hear it, maybe you can't, but uh, here we go. It's got that nice sound to it. And I'll give you another close-up of the Freemason symbol here. And I'm really sorry for the bad lighting, guys. I don't know why. My camera's really fussy about lighting sometimes. Anyway, if we move up here, you can see this is actually uh, like a helmet, like medieval helmet kind of design up on that. And also with the cross here, and on the reverse, another cross. Cross here, another cross here, reverse cross here, cross here, reverse cross here. It's pretty symmetric. Overall, the weight is pretty nice. It came in a box as well, so it's not custom made or anything. Uh, I'll actually show you something here that kind of puzzles me a little bit. Okay, so this is uh, the sword, right? It's a short sword, I believe. I mean, I'm, I think it's a short sword. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you feel like it. I'm always open to facts. And here is the velvet casing that it came in. Well, if you put it in, you see the velvet casing generally fits it, but uh, if you look closer here, <laughs> this little part doesn't fit. This hole was made about an inch too far up, so it doesn't actually fit in the box perfectly, which is kind of weird. You would think they would have uh, thought that through. But uh, other than that, it's the exact shape of the sword, except for this part right here. Let me point that out better for you. This part right here, these two parts. Because as you can see, those notches are supposed to be there for these notches. I'm guessing this might be for a belt to hold the casing in. Or... I don't know much about swords. I picked this up because it looks cool. Not much other reason to it than that. And uh, let me uh, fetch you the top of the box. See doodle? Okay. Um, this is the top of the box. Whoops. This is the top of the box. Once again, I have it upside down. <laughs> Sorry. This is the top of the box. It's hard to read it on a camera when the camera displays it backwards. It says, Masonic Sword Stainless Steel. And if we go up here, 
That's the actual symbol that's on the sword, on the handle. And uh, this is what it says on the other side. So, and it says it's on the other side as well. I don't know if uh, you guys want to see this little part. Maybe it's a little tidbit of information you might find to come in handy. I don't know if the camera can focus in on that correctly, because there we go. So, uh, that's the box. My camera's acting a little weird, so sorry for the bad frames in the uh, poor lighting situation I'm in. I really need to buy better lighting because I'm running off one fluorescent bulb, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. So, if we go back to the sword here, uh, I don't know if I showed you guys the detail on the sword itself on the other side. And you know, one thing I actually haven't done yet, and I guess I could do that for you guys right now, is measure the length of the sword. It's got a measuring tape right here. And if I measure from end to end, it measures to be 21 inches exact. So the sword's 21 inches from end to end with the cover on, with the cover off. It's a little shorter. The cover off, it's about 20 inches. So the cover adds about one inch. So yeah. This is the sword. I put it in the wrong way there. There we go. Now it's flush. Give you one final look at it. Overall, it's a pretty nice piece of uh, decoration, really. What I like is that it's unsharpened, so it can't really hurt too many people. I mean, you could probably break a bone if you hit someone with it hard enough. But, um... It's unsharpened, so you're not going to slice a hand off or something. Uh, the only other danger is stabbing. Um... Overall, you can see it's pretty thin. Uh, the actual blade from length lies up and down as right here. It's probably just under an inch. Um, the weight is actually pretty decent. And uh, I have a feeling I'm making this go on a little too long, so uh, I'm just going to stop right here. And uh, it's basically all I can tell you about this sword. I don't know of any brand. There's no brand on it. It's not custom made. Considering it came in a box, I'm assuming they produce crap loads of these things. But uh, it's the first one I've ever seen of it, and I thought it looked cool. So I thought I would just share it with you guys so you guys can see the interesting little things that I pick up at random places. So, uh... As always, thanks for watching the video. Please rate, subscribe, comment, show your friends, etc. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching.